My name is James T. Clement. From 1993 to 1997, I served as a United States Army Intelligence Analyst. To get that position, I found myself having to navigate challenges that at first glance made no sense, until I realized the answer was very obvious and hiding in plain sight. Now, I want to not only share with you stories and events that again make no sense at first glance, but I want to go one step further. I want to bring my analytical mind into these various cases. I want to read between the lines of what I am seeing, experiencing, and I want to find the in-between-the-lines truth that is hiding there, right in front of us, in plain sight. I want answers to these mysteries, and I want to know the truth. This is The Paranormal. They say that an image is worth a thousand words. And tonight, I will be presenting you with a mysterious image from the internet that has spawned far more than a thousand words. This image is said to depict a couple of possible origins. Just to go over two. According to the subreddit r slash pics, this photo depicts a Bulgarian satanic cult encircling an occupied vehicle back in the 1970s. Another subreddit, r slash creepy, states that this image depicts basically the same thing, but from back in the 1930s. What is interesting about this, in both cases, the truth of this image was stated pretty quickly by users who chimed in, and yet, somehow the notion that this image depicts a satanic cult from either the 70s or the 30s persists. So here are the actual facts behind this creepy image. First and foremost, I can 100% discount the notion that this photo was taken in the 1930s. The vehicle pictured is nothing like a 1930s vehicle. The cars back then had sweeping fenders and were generally works of art. And it is immediately clear when comparing a vehicle from the 30s side by side with this one that the two vehicles have nothing in common in terms of design. But what about the 70s? I believe it's safe to say that the car in the cult picture is still far too square to be a car from the 70s. If you look at the comparison, the car from the 70s has a little bit more of a surfboard look to it. The car pictured in the cult picture, however, well, that one has way more in common with your standard run-of-the-mill car design from the 80s and possibly even the 90s. And as it turns out, those later dates put us a lot closer to the truth. The truth is, yes, it is a cult, in a sense. However, not a real one. This photo is a single screen capture from a 16 millimeter black and white horror short by a fella named Mark Bouchard. And I will apologize now to Mark if I am mispronouncing his last name. The short film was called Coven, pronounced by Mark as Coven. This particular short film and Mark Burchard himself first came into the public consciousness in the 1999 documentary film by another filmmaker named Chris Smith titled American Movie. The premise of this documentary was to follow the filmmaker Mark Burchard as he made his feature film Northwestern. However, things would take a turn for the worse during the pre-production phase of that film and Mark was forced to complete his long abandoned short Coven. His hope was that once the film was completed, he would be able to sell enough copies direct to market so that he could gain the funds necessary to make Northwestern. It's all right, it's okay. There's something to live for. Jesus told me so. The basic premise of COVID is that the protagonist, Mike, also played by Mark Burchard, is suffering from extreme alcoholism, and one day he is invited to join a support group that he truly hopes will help him overcome his addiction. But things take an ominous turn for the worse as Mike discovers that his new friends are not what they see. The image in question itself is a screen capture from a scene when the protagonist, Mike, 
had arrived at a drive-in theater only to be mysteriously surrounded by members of this cult who forced him to retreat into his vehicle. From there, the mysterious robed cult members proceeded to destroy Mike's vehicle with him still inside it taking shelter with baseball bats and steel pipes. There is no satanic cult from the 1970s surrounding some innocent person's car. See, something like that, well, that would leave you with a lot more questions than answers like, what happens next? Or was the occupant forced to face an untimely demise? But I assure you, Mark Bouchette is doing just fine and has enjoyed a certain amount of success since the release of American Movie on DVD in 1999. A happy ending for all. At least I hope so.